this video, we're going to talk specifically about owning a short-term vacation rental condo on Maui and how you can make it happen. And we're going to talk about why it's important to use a Maui-based lender and how our Maui-based lender can make it happen for you. My name is Michael Fish and I'm a real estate agent on this beautiful island of Maui. And today we're going to talk with Annie Ray, a Maui-based lender, who's going to give us some great ideas and opportunities on how to get into a short-term vacation rental condo on Maui. Thank you for joining us today, Annie. You're welcome. Good to be here. So tell us what, tell us some of your great ideas and your great opportunities for people. We've got people all over the planet that want to invest in Maui and make it happen. What do they need to do? Uh, so we do have several investor products that they can choose from. I wanted to highlight one today called a DSCR loan. As you know, we have a lot of short-term vacation rentals and condo hotels here on Maui and the entire state of Hawaii um, with opportunities for real estate investors. So we have what's called a DSCR loan, which is a debt service coverage uh, loan, debt service coverage ratio loan. Um, and so that qualifies the borrower based on the rental property, not on the borrower themselves. Oh. So we make sure that the rental income is gonna cover the monthly mortgage payment. And if that debt services, that approves them for the loan. So, wow. no verifying any income, no verifying W-2s, 1099s, federal tax returns. We just verify assets, so down payment of 20 to 30%, depending on the loan program. Um, we just do two, two months of bank statements for that to verify that you have assets um, for down payment and closing costs. That's amazing. So going by the rental income of the property instead of going by what the person, the buyer, is making in their life. Right, exactly. So for these properties that are condo hotels that are renting um, for you know $500 a night, uh, we would use those short-term rental comps to qualify for the loan. So $500 a night spread over that month with vacancy factor. We do a one-to-one -one ratio for the debt service to make sure that um, that short-term rental income is going to cover the monthly mortgage payment. Oh, that's incredible. And this is called... A DSCR loan debt service coverage ratio. All right. So lenders are all different. We do a one-to-one -one ratio as long as those short-term rental comps will cover the monthly mortgage payment that it qualifies the borrower. Um, in a lot of programs, we can go down to as little as a 620 credit score, um, and some programs have no reserves. So as long as you have that 20 to 30% down payment and closing costs, then you are qualified for this loan. Wow, 20% down, 20 to 30% down payment and the closing costs, and you're qualified. Right. That's incredible. And you start earning that passive income right away. So the income coming in covers the monthly mortgage payment and then some, right? So that's the business of getting into real estate investment is that the goal is to make income off of your rental properties. So it is a business, you know, there is going to be, you can get a condo hotel that has more of a front check-in desk and maid service or you can have an individually owned condo in a short-term rental complex. And then those responsibilities would be yours or a property manager. So there are some costs in maintaining a short-term vacation rental that you'd wanna consider. Um, but that's something that we can sit down and talk about. Excellent, so this is great news. And this is for, is it for the entire world? We do have a foreign national program. So um, anyone can, locals can own a, a short-term vacation rental as long as they have that down payment. If they currently own a home, we could consider refinancing that home to take that down payment out or getting something like a HELOC, which is a home equity line of credit, to take the, in, uh, the equity out of their current residence and use that for down payment for one of these short-term vacation rentals. So open to everyone, our foreign national program is 30% down. Um, that one, because they don't have an American credit score, we assume a 700 credit score as long as they're in good standing with their bank. Um, like I said, no reserves on that. So just the down payment um, okay. qualifies. So for our Canadian borrowers that own a lot of the, the properties in Kihei, those condo hotels, they, they would be able to qualify with this loan. All right, now let's take a step back and go back to locals. So people who live in Hawaii could actually do the same program and not have the, and have an easier credit score, the 620 credit score, is that right? Yeah, I mean, some programs do go as low as 620. Um, what, what the most important thing is that you have 
the asset in order to put that large down payment down. Um, for locals, that would only be 25%, not the 30% for foreign nationals. Um, but you'll also want to consider that the monthly mortgage payment is gonna include the principal interest taxes and insurance in that payment. Um, so that's what has to debt service. So as long as the income is, is qualifying there, but you do wanna have a backup plan, right? If there's any vacancy factor, if something happens where you weren't able to rent out that property, you would want to be able to have some reserves for yourself. Okay, right. So to get their deposit, could they get their deposit from using the home that they already own? So if someone does have a residential primary property that they own, that they've built in equity over time, so in other words, they paid less than the home is now worth, they are able to take a loan on that amount of equity they've built up in the home. So they can take a home equity loan, home equity line of credit or a second, and be able to pull that money from their current property in order to get a down payment. And um, again, this is a real estate business. This is an investment opportunity. So you would want to probably set up this DSCR loan in an LLC. So you have limited liability. So it's the business that's really owning that short-term vacation rental that's bringing in all of that passive income. And then you yourself are not personally liable for that. And exactly. then you can continue to leverage your properties and qualify for more and more if you're not using your personal income. Yeah. So it's the start of a new business for yourself and you can keep creating and growing. I'm just thinking for my own self really now Absolutely. i'm excited about this absolutely you know and if if you can count on that payment debt servicing that you can count on that short-term rental income coming in and covering that monthly mortgage payment we're hoping then to cash flow after that and have a little bit extra that we're, we're able to use um, as income from our rental properties. But even if you're breaking even, the uh, property is appreciating over time, right. right? So you're still investing in the future. It's still a great. Business. So you're thinking about appreciation and, and, and saying, look at the next five years, the appreciation, maybe the rental increases and things like that that are gonna really help benefit you as owning a short-term vacation rental condo as part of your new business venture. That's that's really cool. Those are some great ideas there. So then now we've talked about somebody local on the island making this happen for them, looking for ways to survive on Maui. You're already a homeowner and you're pulling money out of your own home to make your down payment for your first short-term vacation rental condo. It's Maui, so it's international. So it's always seems to me like we're always busy. We don't really have a super slow period. I know our clients uh, that own short-term vacation rentals on Maui, they're just doing so great. I mean, they're doing like 60,000 net and even higher. Um, and depending on how much they want to use it themselves as well. So if you live on the island and you're not really using it a lot yourself, you're probably going to be able to net a pretty good chunk there and then use that towards uh, paying it off and also just moving on, leveraging it, like you said, into your next investment condo and make that chain of investments. Right. That's awesome. And so that's our local standard. Now let's talk again about, so uh, the national program, the foreign nationals program. Yeah, so for foreign nationals, it is just a larger down payment. So that's when you get into your 30% down payment rather than the 20 or 25%. But because we don't um, qualify them using an American credit score or FICO score, they are qualified um, just if they are in good standing of the, with their bank and we qualify them at a 700 credit score. So again, your credit score is going to affect your interest rate. So the better your credit is, the lower your interest rate is. So we assume a 700 for them. Um, we just need to verify that they are in good standing in their bank and that they have two months of bank statements to verify the assets needed for down payment and closing costs. Um, but again, that, that one has no reserves. Um, we do have a lot of loan programs within the DSCR loan. So you're able to do a 5-1 arm, a 7-1 arm, a 15-year fix, a 30-year fix. There's lots of options there. Um, there are some, you know, in the fine print, you wanna make sure you know everything there is to know about these type of loans. So um, there is gonna be a higher tax rate on short-term rental properties than there is on long-term rental. So that's gonna go into your, that's gonna be factored into your monthly mortgage payment. HOA dues are gonna be factored into your monthly mortgage payment and some of those with those services will include that. You will need the services, the cleaning services, sometimes that's 25% of what it's renting for, right. right? So if someone's coming in and cleaning every night. So there are some things that you need to consider as a business venture, if this is a real estate opportunity that 
you would want to pursue. Exactly. So with all those, um, a lot of people just put that into the nightly rate. So that's all brought in. So short-term vacation rentals are going to have higher taxes on Maui. They're going to have, most of them have a high HOA. Uh, I know like Maui Vista, I think it's around 600. It's not too bad, but if you're right on the water, you can expect to pay 1500 a month uh, for your HOAs across the street, maybe half that amount. So, but you want to factor all that in and then put it, a lot of them will put it into their nightly rate. So it's not coming directly out of your pocket, but it's coming in as part of the income. So ways to work in the numbers out. Right. Um, let's see, so so how easy, let's say somebody from Canada, how, how easy is it gonna be for them to get into a short-term vacation rental condo? So I know you just told us everything, but would they be able to, to grab money, do a HELOC? Um, it's, it's very easy as far as once they are ready with their down payments to get into that home. So if, if someone shows up and are, is able to verify assets with two months of bank statements and they're able to verify that they have 30% down, this can be as little as a three week closing. So we are not verifying income, so we're not having to paper trail all of their W-2s, their 1099s, their, their um, federal tax returns, anything like that. And it makes it a very short closing process. So as long as they have those down payments, you know, we can get them right away as soon as they've made um, an offer on the home, then we can get them approved same day and um, get them into that loan in as little as three weeks. That's amazing. I got to tell you, three week closing, that's incredible, especially using a lender where it's usually 45 to 60 days with a lender. If you're paying cash, then it could be 30 days, but to get in and close for three weeks, I mean, that's amazing. So with a short term vacation rental, what's the advantage of closing early? In my opinion, it is that you can start making money on it right away. And usually when you buy a short term vacation rental on Maui, you've already got, it comes with listing, uh, comes with people that already have their stays booked so it already comes with bookings usually for three to six months out or even more so it's already going to be in the process of making money so having a three-week close is that's a super beneficial boom boom you're in and start making money with your stvr that's right <laughs> i love that three-week closing that's amazing i'm doing it i'm, <laughs> it. I'm doing this this is great you know, I just want to say some great benefits for short-term vacation rental condos on Maui are you're providing a place for visitors to stay when they come to Maui to visit us. And those visitors have money. They're coming with a pocket full of money to spend on activities and restaurants. And that's helping our in, uh, our community, the people that work in those pro uh, activities and restaurants, the employees, uh, circulating the money into our economy. So it's beneficial for our economy, whether you're a local or a foreign national or from the mainland or Canada or anywhere on the planet and you own a short-term vacation rental condo on Maui, you're helping our economy on Maui. Maybe you didn't realize it, but you are. So I love that. Well, and that's part of the reason that we have such high tax rates for short-term rentals, and I'm in support of that, right? So those taxes help to support our community. All of those taxes go back to us. So it makes sense that they would include that in the cost of um, yeah. our, our tourism economy. Absolutely. So the tax is going back onto the island to help with the roads and everything else. Exactly. The roundabout. Yeah. <laughs> so there you have it. And I am going to put Annie Ray's uh, contact information in the comments down below too. So you don't have to like rewatch the video a million times to try to find that. But you can always just go to the comments below. If you like this video, hit that thumbs up. Click that subscribe button. And we're going to see you again and again and again on Maui. Aloha. Aloha.